All right, let's see what everybody is interested in seeing on the next episode. Let's just kind of scroll through here. Hmm. Flounder video. Catch and cook? Hmm. Good morning everyone. We are here in Port Mansfield this morning. We launched at 6.30 right at daylight. I'm gonna start the day off throwing some top water. See if we can get a hit. Uh, it's a little windy today so I'm using this bigger, uh, noisier uh, top water. I think it's a, a mirror lure, she dog. I'm sure y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, should, the wind should pick up, so hopefully that'll make a lot of rust. And that right there, folks, is my first flounder. <laughs> Look at that guy. Let's see if he makes measurements. Looks like we're having flounder tonight, folks. That is a 15 inch solid flounder. We got some birds working up ahead. I don't know if you can see them in the GoPro, but we're almost on them. Starting to get that watermelon smell. Hooked up. Hooked up on that bird, man. Yeah. Come on, be a keeper. Working on that slam. Not very big, but hopefully he's a keeper at least. Close your mouth, buddy. Keeper, baby. 15 and a half, just like that. Trying to work on these birds. Seems like we kind of just missed the, the peak of the action, but we managed to get one. Right now I'm using the Texas Rattler with the pink punch. Same lure I used to catch the uh, flounder. It's kind of windy, so quarter ounce helps. Yeah, the birds definitely are not working the bait anymore. Still fish the area.
Got one? Richard's hooked up. Got one too. Oh, we got off. Little bitty guy. Sportsman's release. Let's get another one, baby. Dude, that was amazing. I've never experienced that before. I think so. Mine was 15 and a half. Oh, hit, man. Hit after hit, dude. This is amazing. I saw a huge blow up up ahead. Get them, dude. They're all little, but it's fun, dude. There's birds up ahead, dude. You see them? Oh, look, 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 look. Look right there. Blow up over here. Got one. Baby red. Little red fish. We're almost at a slam, but not quite yet. <laughs> Diving on bait right at the uh, this point here. So we're trying to all butt. See if we can make it there on time. The frenzy looks pretty good. Ah, I missed him. Still got a school of birds over here. I'm kind of noticing that they're feeding on really small shad, so I'm gonna try this twitch bait out. Maybe. Wow, baby. All right. Keeper. 16 inches, baby. I think I got a red. <laughs> no, a little trout. It pulled drag though, it's because I foul hooked him. What is up people? It's finally time to cook up the flounder. 
Got the butter melting, got my flounder, salt and pepper, lemon, parsley, white wine, some shallots, more butter. We're gonna be zesting that lemon. So um, again, while that butter is melting, we're gonna go ahead and salt and pepper our uh, fillets on both sides. This flounder meat is like super white, super beautiful. Looking forward to tasting it. Our butter is melted, so we're gonna lay down our flounder. I think these fillets are just gonna fit perfect. You want, you definitely don't wanna overcrowd uh, the pan. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. And uh, we'll cook it on each side, a um, few minutes on each side until it's flaky. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these small pieces. They're really small. Bigger fillet. Oh, that got some beautiful color. So we'll just let that finish um, cooking. And then I'm gonna set it to an oven site uh, tray and put it in the oven on keep warm. Like these small pieces right here look done. So I'm gonna transfer them. In this dish right here. And I'm gonna give this one a little bit more time. This one is done too. Kind of broke apart on me, but oh man, it's just so, so freaking tender. Some more butter in there, but I'm also going to uh, put this in the oven on keep warm. Right, I'm gonna add another tablespoon of butter. So the shallots are good because they uh, they give it kind of like an oniony, garlicky type flavor. Another tablespoon of butter. Again, we're making a sauce. A lemon. White wine. While that's kind of cooking out, I'm gonna kind of zest the, the lemon. I'll lower the heat a little bit. All right, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and Give it a taste. See if the alcohol is rendered out. Mm. Oh, that's good. Try to get some of these seeds out. Look at that. Put in there like an idiot. Now we want the sauce to thicken up a little bit. So you guessed it, buddy. We are gonna put another tablespoon of butter. Again, the alcohol is pretty much just cooked out already at this point. I'm gonna turn off the stove and I'm just gonna let it thicken up. All right, so we got our sauce. I'm gonna grab our sauce here. Just kind of drizzle it over all of our fish. I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh parsley and that's our dish go ahead and get a piece give a little taste test mmm man that is a good fish um, the sauce is really good the, the lemon is super bright the shallots kind of give it like that oniony garlicky flavor got a bunch of butter makes it super rich uh, I could see all, I could see where there's all the hype with the flounder, uh, so definitely need to up my flounder game. The next project is to work on getting a Texas inshore slam. So with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. Remember, for more South Texas hunting, fishing, and grilling, make sure you keep it locked to Mesquite Outdoors. Mm -hmm.